Good morning and welcome to Live in a Greenhouse on YouTube. If you're new here, this channel is about my journey to design, build, and then live in the first greenhouse enclosed tiny home in the United States. Being the last weekend of the month, today is the October walk around. The rainy season has officially started here in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. As recently as two weeks ago, the daytime highs were in the upper 60s, now they're in the upper 50s. The first two weeks of the month, we had about three quarters of an inch of rain, and then we've had three inches of rain in the last 10 days. Since most days are overcast or cloudy, the greenhouse temperature is not much above the outside temperature, maybe five to 10 degrees. Like here on October 20th, the outside temperature was 49, the greenhouse temperature was 61. Unfortunately, I had a work commitment earlier this month that took two weeks out of the night part of the month, but fortunately I was able to get some projects done before the weather turned. But now it's time to shift to projects inside the greenhouse, which is the reason that I built the greenhouse enclosed home so that I could be outside in the garden, in the dark or in the rain, Growing food and beautiful flowers is just a bonus. So if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends so YouTube will show it to more viewers and come along today to see what happened during October. Still waiting for the excavator to come move these rocks and do the other things. Probably time to call to check if he forgot about me. Brought in three yards of dirt and started the tree and shrub layers in the ramp garden. Lilac, butterfly bush, and a Mount Fuji flowering cherry. Unfortunately, the deer rubbed on this the other night. I'm going to try and pick up some fencing this weekend. I have a large order of bulbs coming, fully in November. Looks like I'll need to weed first, and I'll mulch after planting. The string trimmer died, so not doing much maintenance this month. Summer got away from me and I didn't get to touching up the deck paint. Now it'll have to wait till spring. Had a nice little bonfire the other evening and pulled weeds on the sand filter. The carpenter finished the shed and I got most of the trim and patches painted before the rain started. Now it's up to me to finish laying the floor, interior painting, and building the shelves. I really hope to finish that in November.
The tanks are now full. Throughout the rainy season, I need to regularly empty the debris traps. During heavy rain, the water comes through with great force, and if the holes are clogged, then the water ricochets out And you can see how it has blown these catkins out of the way. Pull the volunteer sunflower that had a full head of mature black seeds. I look forward to spreading around the yard next year. Leaves dropping from the peach tree that I pick up for the compost bin. Now that I close the roof at night, I've turned the dehumidifier on. This is the reading from the probe on the air to ground tube next to it. Perfect timing that the rain tanks are full and yesterday finished draining as much of the pool as I can with this pump. I used that water around the raised beds as far as the hose would run. Next week I'll start cleaning the bottom, which will vacuum the rest of the water out. Once the bottom and sides are wiped down, I'll start to refill it. That'll take almost three refills of the rainwater tanks, but now that the rainy season has started, that shouldn't take too long. harvested dill seeds, red potatoes, and the bok choy, and then laid chicken wire to keep the cat from scratching in this bed. Potato are sprouting. I hope more kohlrabi will mature before winter. Still pulling carrots to eat raw and for soups. I'm gathering carrot seeds. Pulling a few beets per week to make pickled beets. More than half of this bed is partial shade, so this was a real experiment to see what would grow. Carrots were direct sown sort of late, and they're still kind of small. I had good luck wintering over carrots in the ground last winter, so we'll probably leave these to see how they do. Not sure if much of the leeks in this bed will mature enough to eat. Genevieve's basil is just starting to drop leaves, but still enough to pick for cooking. Although the fennel put out a lot of fronds and flowers, I didn't get mature seeds or bulbs. I may try them again next year, but in the ornamental garden, and just clip the fronds rather than hoping for bulbs. This bed gets more sun than the taller one, and I'm getting some nice sized leeks and bunching onions from here. Tidied up the potting bench a bit. Now you can see the counter. I'm really pleased how much of the ornamental plants are still green and flowering. The primroses are coming back. 
This area smells really good from this large sage plant. The purple basil is nice in tomato sauce. The coneflower continues to put out buds. I've been gathering seeds from the coneflowers, calendula, and godesia. This area also smells really good from the lavender and rosemary. And there you have it. As we ease into the time of year, when it's still dark in the morning when I start my day job, I'll leave you with a walk around the garden with my coffee at 5.30 a.m. Hey Google, turn on chandelier. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And come back next time to see if third time's the charm on the pool. <laughs>